Hey, we're the warning, and you're watching Heavy Consequence. We're here at Louder Than Life with The Warning. How's it going, guys? Doing good. good. How's yeah. it going to be set? It was so much fun, so we're very happy to be here. You all just came off the stage just like 15 minutes ago. Yeah. 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 Literally, it we was, were just, we just right off the off. stage. We still have the adrenaline <laughs> yeah. pumping through us, but it was a great set. We love playing here at Louder Than Life. It's our second time. And again, just being here in Louisville, Kentucky, and seeing the people, having that energy, it's just great. That's awesome. I know it's been kind of a strange year for festivals, but hard rock festivals specifically have really been sort of thriving recently. Do you have any reason why that might be? People want the energy. Yeah. I feel like I feel like good. rock is just has such a solid community and we always just show up for the genre and I feel like it's a genre that people really are conscious of what it takes to be like a band like going to the concerts go, like buying the merch going to the festival supporting the bands i feel like that's a really big part of the community and you have it's also a very big family event so yeah. you can bring your whole family and just like it fills up yeah now you all seem right at home on the main stage here at louder and i remember your set from two years ago here also on the big stage it was great but you're also in the middle of a headlining tour right now, selling out dates all across North America. How's the tour been going? It's been going great. We've been all over the country. It's been weird yeah. routing, but weird routing, we've been for over sure. the country. <laughs> uh, and we've been playing our new music because we just had a record come out called Keep Me Fed. So it's great to be able to, you know, play the songs live, see how people react to them and hear them like sing every word. It's amazing. What does it mean to be headlining your own shows and have people show up already knowing the words from the new album that's only been out for a few months? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it means the world to us for sure. Like we can uh, live our dream and do what we love to do because people listen to our music and are passionate about, you know, coming to see us play because that's a whole other, you know. It's really crazy because, I mean, we're a band from Mexico and to be touring the whole world, have sold out shows here in the U.S. and then in countries in Europe that we've never been to before and just seeing people connect with our music it, it just means the world to us yeah now keep me fed I mentioned came out earlier this year that's the new album how does that mark an evolution for you all musically lyrically maybe even personally uh, it's a very big change like we see it as a new era of the warning especially since we started writing when we were kids this I feel like feels like the first album that is just like really grown up. yeah I grown guess. up like we wrote it in the middle of touring as well so it was like a whole new experience for us so i think it let us like experiment what we've been feeling over the last years touring and all of our experiences just like bottled into an album it's like a little time capsule it is, it is. of who we are and y'all were also at the vmas recently yes, yes we, we were. were that's got to be a big bucket list item what was your favorite part of it Okay, so it's our second time at the VMAs. Yes. We were there last year, and we played last year. This was our first time going there, like, as nominated artists, which was just really surreal to be yeah. nominated, like, with such amazing artists. It was very nerve-wracking. Um, I wouldn't say that we met a lot of people. We were able to say hi to people that we already knew, but, but the we red were carpet like... is just really crazy. Everyone's doing their own thing, and they're doing their media, so... But everyone is so close. You're like, I yeah, can't believe, like... Believe, like Chaperone is like right 30 meters me, behind me. Like, I, can't, like, I can't look at her. I won't look at her. But yeah. it's, it was, it's just very cool to be able to represent rock in these very big events and to show other people and like in the mainstream to like, hey, rock is still here. Like, go, go check it out. Go check out other bands. It's really fun.